Hi, my name is Narayan Mandalika, Senior Product Line Manager for Pivotal Container Service, PKS. In this presentation, I'll be discussing the new features that have been added to the latest version of PKS, PKS 1.2. While we have some pretty good sessions on PKS online, many videos, blogs, and presentations, let me do a quick overview of what PKS is. If you think of Kubernetes as a declarative engine that will manage your applications or pod, PKS is what's managing Kubernetes. At a high level, PKS is a control plane that simplifies the deployment and management of vanilla upstream Kubernetes within your enterprise to make the platform highly resilient and highly available. It provides an enterprise-grade Kubernetes dial tone in either a self-service manner or centralized manner. PKS is a multi-cloud offering, allowing you to deploy and manage Kubernetes clusters in a consistent manner across multiple cloud providers. One of the things you might notice right off the bat is Bosch. Bosch deploys the underlying compute infrastructure for Kubernetes as well as does the health checks built right into the product that will provide increased availability for your Kubernetes clusters such as monitoring all those Kubernetes clusters, such as the API server, the kubelet, replication controllers, etc. Health checks and Bosch agents also ensure that a Kubernetes node that is not responsive will be deleted and recreated and reintroduced to the Kubernetes cluster, thus maintaining the declarative state of the Kubernetes clusters. In addition, PKS with the help of Bosch seamlessly upgrades the Kubernetes clusters without downtime in the application workloads, allowing you to do these upgrades from the PKS control plane in a centralized manner. In addition, PKS comes pre-integrated with NSXT, providing you under the hood automation when it comes to networking and configuration required throughout the lifecycle of Kubernetes cluster. PKS comes with Harbor, an open source private container registry where container images can be securely stored, scanned before they are deployed into the Kubernetes cluster. So now let's talk about what's new in PKS 1.2, which is the main purpose of this presentation. With PKS 1.2, we are focused on the following value themes, developer productivity, management and operations, networking and security, choice of infrastructure as a service. I will discuss these enhancements and the features that have been added to PKS under each of these value themes in the slides that would follow. First, let me talk about some of the key features that have been added to improve developer productivity. Kubernetes is rapidly evolving. There is a lot of active contribution on Kubernetes from the open source community. By ensuring that we are in constant compatibility with Kubernetes, we are able to ensure that our customers get the latest stable version of Kubernetes in addition to getting access to the latest innovations in Kubernetes. With PKS 1.2, you get access to the Kubernetes 1.11, the latest stable version of Kubernetes, which is CNCF compliant. We have offered with the previous versions of PKS, the ability to aggregate and funnel logs to a centralized analytics tool like we realized Log Insight. With PKS 1.2, we have improved on that capability to allow developers to define their own log endpoints so that logs relevant to their workloads can be analyzed in a logging tool of their choice for better troubleshooting purposes. As part of the management and operations value theme, we simplify the development, management, and availability of the Kubernetes platform. Let me introduce you to some of the new features that have been added to the product in PKS 1.2 as part of this value theme. With vRealize Automation, or VRA 7.5 and PKS 1.2, we get self-service and governance. You can entitle your enterprise users within different business groups to deploy Kubernetes clusters and discover and manage Kubernetes clusters with VRA 7.5 and PKS 1.2. You can, as a result, use the same self-service catalog 
to be able to deploy Kubernetes clusters within your enterprise, among other IT and cloud services. With 1.2, we have optimized the cluster creation and scale out of these clusters. PKS can now concurrently deploy multiple nodes and speed up the cluster creation and cluster scale out process, especially if we were to create or scale a large number of Kubernetes clusters. In order to improve Kubernetes platform availability, we have introduced the ability to create multiple masters across multiple availability zones. Additionally, the tight integration with NSXT allows for dynamic load balancing across multiple Kubernetes masters. These enhancements ensure that Kubernetes control plane is always available and ready for production. So let me talk about the next value theme here. Networking and security seem to be primary concerns and challenges for enterprises deploying Kubernetes clusters. This theme is about continuously improving and simplifying these areas. With our tight integration with NSXT, we are able to simplify and automate many of these configurations and provide better security through isolation. Let's look at some of the key features that have been added to PKS to improve networking and security in the product. As enterprises begin to scale out their workloads on Kubernetes, it's critical for their networking solutions to offer security and scalability. With the introduction of network profiles in PKS 1.2, now you can optimize your resources being used for your workloads by making a per cluster choice on the size of the load balancer based on your scale and throughput requirements. The network profile is a key capability that will allow us to provide more network related choices at per cluster level and we expect to leverage this capability to introduce many additional features that would provide flexibility, scale and better security with improved isolation. PKS integrates with UAA, User Account and Authentication Module, to provide an auditable authentication framework for user authentication. In addition to users accessing the PKS control plane using their enterprise credentials, PKS 1.2 offers a centralized authentication mechanism for Kubernetes clusters using AD or LDAP. PKS 1.2 allows customers the ability to assign Kubernetes RBAC bindings to LDAP users and groups. Kubernetes RBAC enables fine-grained control when a cluster is serving many teams. PKS 1.2 offers NSXT 2.2. Some of the key benefits PKS customers get from NSXT 2.2 are simplified install and config. The installation and configuration of NSXT has been simplified with the introduction of automation and a simpli simplified user interface. Improved security. NSXT 2.2 has introduced the TLS termination capability, which is a key security enhancement that we'll talk about in a bit more detail in the following slide. Increase in scale. PKS with NSXT significantly increases the scalability of PKS platform in terms of the number of Kubernetes clusters, Kubernetes load balancer services, Kubernetes ingress services, and network traffic. A new capability introduced in NSXT 2.2 allows for SSL termination to be performed by NSXT load balancing services. PKS leverages this capability to provide better security and workload production. NSXT leverages the native Kubernetes secrets and ingress controller to handle the SSL certificates and termination. This will secure the request to the workloads deployed on Kubernetes in a cloud native way. PKS is a multi-cloud offering by strategy. We continue to extend the product support into other cloud providers. With Bosch under the hood, which has a cloud provider interface, PKS is designed from ground up to be a multi-cloud offering. PKS now supports AWS EC2 in addition to the pre-existing support for vSphere and Google Cloud Provider. This enables a consistent operating model and developer experience across private and public clouds. Kubernetes is offered on public and private clouds to enable developers to write and test code on any infrastructure. 
with PKS offering a common consistent interface between all IIS providers, enterprises get the operational efficiencies while developers are able to deploy their workloads consistently across any IIS provider. In summary, the key takeaway is that PKS 1.2 makes it even more easier to deploy and manage a production-grade Kubernetes cluster within your environment. With PKS 1.2, you get improved developer productivity by allowing developers to now configure the log endpoints of their choice at a namespace level. In addition, you get support for Kubernetes 1.11. Improved availability of the platform with our support for multi-master capability. Improved scale and security with NSXT. With PKS 1.2, you can now provide access controls to Kubernetes using your enterprise credentials and Lastly, support for AWS EC2. That brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time and watching this presentation.